I will be talking about a woman named Eleanor Maccabee. Eleanor Maccabee was born on May 15th in 1917 in Tacoma, Washington. For some background information, Maccabee attended Reed College for two years before transferring to the University of Washington, where she earned her, master, her bachelor's degree. Afterwards, she received her master's and PhD from the University of Michigan. Throughout Maccabee's career, she studied gender development, gender differentiation, parent-child relations, child development, and social development from the child perspective. In the mid-1950s, Maccabee directed the field research team of a large-scale study of child rearing, according to the Harvard University's Department of Psychology. Throughout her time as a faculty member, and most likely her whole academic career, Maccabee experienced gender discrimination. During her time at Stanford, for example, Maccabee and other tenured women who were just as decorated as their male colleagues were not paid as much, if at all, for their work. Maccabee also, when a member of the faculty club, was not allowed to walk through the front door and along with other women had to walk through a side door. Due to the era, this type of discrimination was not uncommon and according to Maccabee in her interview with APS, Association for Psychological Science, Maccabee did not pay much attention to the discrimination until later in her career. Due to her fairly recent passing in December of 2018, most of Maccabee's work, to my knowledge, was recognized before her death. Maccabee was and is widely recognized for one of the most famous studies in psychology, as I mentioned before, and helped publish The Patterns of Child Rearing. The book itself is the results of the study Maccabee participated in. So far, according to APDivisions.org, the patterns of child rearing has been cited 3,500 times. Additionally, in 1966, Maccabee produced her first major work based on sex differences, a book titled The Development of Sex Differences, and has been cited over 1,300 times. With questions inspired by Maccabee's work, a young feminist researcher, Carol Nagy Jacqueline, began working with her. After obtaining funds to work on a longitudinal study of the role of sex steroids measured in umbilical cord blood on the emergence of sex differences in children. A monumental review, the work alone by Maccabee and others resulted in a book titled The Psychology of Sex Differences, and of which has been cited over 11,515 times, according to APDivisions.org. These prominent achievements are not all Maccabee has accomplished, however, it would take quite a bit of time to go over everything Maccabee has done in her career. An interesting fact about Maccabee is that she was the first woman to serve as chair of Stanford University's Department of Psychology and held that position from 1973 to 1976.